Hello, my name is Lex and I'm a health educator with Maine General's Peter Alphon Prevention and Healthy Living Center. I'd like to talk with you about stress and some tools that might be helpful. There is good and bad stress and today I will be talking about the stress that affects our daily lives such as not sleeping, feeling sad or angry, headaches, mood swings, and or difficulty concentrating. You may feel overwhelmed, anxious, or depressed about whatever is causing you stress. You could be more vulnerable to stress if you are not sleeping, experiencing a major life change, or are without people who can help support you. Long-term stress can weaken your immune system and make it easier for you to get sick. So what are the tools in your toolbox that can help lower the stress you're feeling? Try deep breathing. Deep breathing each day reduces anxiety and stress. It increases the supply of oxygen to your brain and promotes a state of calmness. If you are able, find a quiet and comfortable place to sit or lie down. Breathe in slowly through your nose and out through your mouth. Try at least three of these breaths. As you get more comfortable with this, try doing five breaths, 10 breaths, or more. You can also try a guided meditation or yoga video online, or if you have a smartphone, download an app specific to deep breathing, calming sounds, or meditation. Get outside. Spending time outside has many benefits, one of which is a rise in your vitamin D levels. Vitamin D helps your body absorb calcium and keep your bones healthy. In addition to boosting your body's levels of vitamin D, being outside is associated with positive feelings. Spending time outside might also give you a chance to disconnect from what has been causing stress and improve your concentration. Move your body. Physical movement decreases stress, anxiety, and depression symptoms. When you are feeling anxious, your body's fight, flight, or freeze system is often in use. When you feel threatened by something, your body reacts in one of those three ways to protect itself. This may mean that you feel pent up emotion and energy, which moving your body can help release. Moving your body can also help you feel happier. Physical activity does not need to be high energy. It can be something like going for a walk, taking a bike ride, or swimming. Talk to a loved one. Talking to someone you love and trust can help relieve stress and improve your mood. Talking about why you feel stressed can help you process your emotions. Expressing your frustrations in words may help you feel like some weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The time you spend with your loved one can help by letting you focus on something unrelated to your stress. Try calling or video chatting with a family member, your best friend, or a friend you haven't caught up with in a while. Drink water. All bodies need water to function and we often are not drinking enough. Water is important for functions like keeping your body temperature normal and ridding your body of waste. Drinking 8 cups of water per day is the average recommendation. If you think you are not getting enough water, you can try carrying a reusable water bottle with you or flavor your water with fruit like lemon, lime, cucumber, or berries, or even an herb like mint. Do something you enjoy. Doing an activity you enjoy can improve your mood, serve as a distraction, and help you collect your thoughts and emotions. You may choose to read, write, cook, watch a funny movie, listen to your favorite song, make a craft, play an instrument, or anything else you might like to do. Stress can also cause you to lose interest in activities you enjoyed before, but doing them anyways can improve your mood. Understanding stress and different tools that can be helpful to manage your stress is the first step. These tools can help your body and mind feel less tired and overwhelmed and instead leave you feeling lighter, more positive, and more in control of your life. If you have tried to manage your stress using the techniques I've talked about today and are still feeling overwhelmed, you can call your doctor or call the Maine General Hub line to get connected with a primary care doctor.